Hey everyone. With the release of ArcGIS Pro 2.6, there's been a lot of changes made to the Modify Associations pane that impact how you work with associations. So I wanted to take a few minutes just to walk through these and help you familiarize. The main driver for the change in the pane in 2.6 was the availability of non-spatial objects, which are now available with version 4 of the utility network. Whether or not you use non-spatial objects, the pane is going to be different. This is a product of 2.6. So it's good to be aware of the changes since you're going to see them when you go and work with creating associations. So previously when you opened up the pane, you would select a feature in the map to create the association with. In 2.6, it's very similar, but we have the concept of an active item. When the pane is open, add features will be active and it'll allow you to select features in the map from that pane. The active item will be populated with anything you select. And if you have multiple things selected, it's gonna allow you to toggle between these and choose which item to work with. As before, when you select a feature to create or modify an association, you have three tabs you work with, connectivity, containment, and attachment. While we still provide the ability to select features from the map, this is now done with the add features command, which we used to call select a junction, structure, or container, depending upon which tab you are working with. We also now provide the option to load selected items. So this is great because it gives you the ability to select rows from non-spatial object attribute tables and add them to the map. And just like um, add features, if there's multiple items selected, active item will allow you to toggle between those. So when you've selected an active item and you're working with that, one of the primary changes you're going to notice is that you can see at a glance which type and how many associations exist for that selected item. Going into these tabs, one of the biggest changes you'll see is inside the connectivity tab, where we have three new connectivity association types to model junction edge connectivity between non-spatial objects. These are junction edge from, to, and mid-span connectivity. Junction edge from and to are modeled within the junction edge section here in the middle. Previously, junction junction was the only available option for connectivity associations. This remains, but now it's listed in its own section. So within each tab, you're going to see sections provided to work with each type of association. As before, you can click on the arrow, which is add features, to select items from the map and add it to that individual section. And, and just like at the top with load selected, you can use the add selected command to load rows from an attribute table. Again, this was created to work with non-spatial uh, objects, but it will work with any selection from the attribute table. Now let's take a look at the other two tabs. Containment functions similar to how it did in 2.5, with the exception that the order of operations is, is not as important as it was previously. I don't have to select a container and then add content. I can select any feature or non-spatial object and specify that it either contains other, other features or is contained by them. And this is all visible within the different sections without having to toggle between and set different features as the active item. Similarly, with the attachment tab, this allows me to view whether a selected item is attached to anything or has attachments. So those are the primary changes you're going to see with the Modify Association pane in ArcGIS Pro 2.6. Hopefully this addresses some questions you may have had and helps your transition into this new release. Thanks.